And here you can see a nice brood pattern. It's late in the season, but she has still been laying for now. This frame is very light. The bees move gently. This will be nice to analyze for Varroa. So I put it on the stand here. Bring out the app. So now I want to record to show you how we take the, the images. Here are rather few bees, but I take an image here. One here. One here. And a fourth one here. Then I swing the frame around. And we take four new pictures here. One here, one there, one there, and one there. Now we got in total 16 images. That would be sufficient to send for analyze. I'd like to get them back into the warmth, you know, there is uh, almost 35 degrees warmth here, 34.7 actually. And we let them down here. While we pack this colony down, we can send this for analyze. I press done. and I have a collection of images I can send for analyze. It now goes to the server. It's on uh, Amazon. And once the images upload, you can follow the process. We are on 4G now, so it goes rather fast. Four, five continues, six, and so on. And when the images are all uploaded, the artificial intelligence starts to look for objects, that is, varroa parasites on the, my, on the bees. And it also, after that, counts how many bees there are in the images and makes a quota out of the ratio between parasites and the number of bees. So we now have uploaded 13 out of 16. I didn't mention that, but the, the important thing is to have enough bees in the images, not how many images actually, but we recommend about 3,000 bees in the images. And you can reach that with about 10 to 12 images if there are 250 bees in each image. Now you see it's analyzing, counting bees, and soon the result will come. I hope they have no varroa. It's, oh, here is a says it infestation level uh, 0 0.5 about. And uh, depending on the time of season and your treat, and if you have treated them, this may be okay. Note the colony for further evaluation. Okay, got it. And then you can get into the to the app and check in a certain image where the AI has depicted an varroa and then you can validate if that is actually true well i'd say that's that's with a high probability a varroa sitting just close to the to the thorax on the abdomen i close here and i close the the colony thank you to join the queen in the bottom i'll just put this out